Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. So we have um, a reading that went out for uh, Tuesday. Um, and it had to do with, it could have been any area of your life, but for a lot of people it was a work situation where some people were doing shady stuff. Then I went to do another reading for the 3rd of March, which would actually be Wednesday, but I said Tuesday for some reason. And the same exact reading started coming out. So just in case somebody's having issues with shady people at work, Spirit really, really, really wants you to know that you have an opportunity for a new beginning coming your way. Um, and it, that new opportunity comes by uh, leaving behind whatever this toxicity was. These were not good people or not a good situation, whatever it was. Anyway, so I just feel like I had to say that again since the same reading started coming out again. So now we're going to focus on Wednesday the 3rd. I kept saying Tuesday for some reason. So we're going into Wednesday the 3rd of March 2021. So this reading is virtually for tomorrow. All right. So spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who is guided here, anyone who is uh, looking for answers, and I'm hoping we have a different story come through this time rather than the same one, um, for the 3rd of March, 2021, that's tomorrow, that's this coming Wednesday. All right, let's get into it. Could it resonate on other days, guys. Whenever you're guided to see it, there's sometimes a reason you're guided to see it on a different day, then so be it. All right, so what do we need to know, please, for anyone who will be guided to see this reading here on YouTube? What are the most important messages? Okay, this is Vice Versa Tarot, by the way. Yep, here we go. Brand new beginning in work. I feel like someone's going to have a brand new work opportunity come in for them. It feels so much better than what you were going through before. And look at the bottom, being released from the devil. This is vice versa tarot, guys. So those of you that are familiar with it, um, you know that it's probably the most creative, excellent deck ever created. But just so in, so genius, right? Um, the side we see that we see that falls on this table is the side we read, okay? But like this would be the devil reverse. That's what's at the bottom of your deck. This is the devil in the upright, the traditional side, so to speak, because they're not all reversals. Some of the cards just have a different perspective. Okay, so this would be one perspective of the devil, and this would be the other. In this deck, um, so this, the devil is much like it is in traditional tarot, where the devil reversed is a release, okay? We see the two people chained here to the devil, but now we see that they're not. They're no longer there. So I feel as though there's some kind of, um, whatever this toxicity is that we were talking about in Tuesday's reading, but that also came through when I tried to do Wednesday's reading, but I called it Tuesday. There's some kind of a release in some kind of, and look, there's that seven of swords again. That was the first card out when I tried to redo this, when I tried to do this reading a few minutes ago. And there was sneaky, shady stuff going on in possibly a work situation for most of you. Uh, that you're getting released from devil reversed is here and there's some kind of new beginning coming in could be financial as well but let's get a little peek at what else we need to know here it's just so ironic that this is coming out um well i guess it's meant to be really uh spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this um reading whatever's most important for nope that's too many whatever's most important for anyone who's guided to come here and see this reading on youtube i did really much want another reading to come through uh, something different but this seems to be the theme of the day that something important is coming through in but this looks really good i mean this is ten of pentacles eight of pentacles and ace of wands right there and the this ace of wands is all about freedom as well um, yeah, absolutely. So I want you to see what just flew out. They didn't come all the way out, but they came out into my hand. The Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who feels like they've, they're still left out in the cold, only they're inside now. And this is someone who's getting ready to release a lot of stress out the window. Um, and, you know, right beneath that is the Ten of Swords, someone who's trying to get over um, something very harsh. But this they did not come all the way out, so I'm putting them back. I just wanted you to see them. All right, so let's keep going. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What else do we need to know about this reading? 
Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles here. I love that Ace of Pentacles too because it, it shows the freedom. You know, the release from the devil that we had at the bottom. See the bird there? There's growth on the end of this wand and there's a, it looks like osprey or something, uh, eagle even flying free. Could be an eagle. All right, let's keep going here. What else do we need to know? Nope, too many. Just one or two. The Ace of Wands, or the um, Ace of Swords just tried to come out too. What else do we need to know here, please? Just one or two. Okay. Now this one's kind of on its side, I guess. Well, <sighs> all right. Well, it's really two of wands looking out to somebody looking for the path they're supposed to go down, looking to figure out which way do I go now. I almost feel like somebody's been set free and now they got to figure out what they're going to do. They're not used to being free from whatever this is. Okay, the magician right smack dab in the middle. The magician was the highlight of Tuesday's reading. So make sure you check that out. I think the magician came out three times in that reading. All three decks I used, I think the magician came out and I think... All right, what else do we need to know? This actually is a two for one card. That's one another thing I very much love about Vice Versa Tarot. Some of the cards, I call them two for one cards. This is actually the Wheel of Fortune with the Magician involved, which means you're manifesting your own reality, which is was a highlight in Tuesday's reading. This is someone who's bringing about their own new cycle, manifesting their own new beginning, working diligently on their new beginning. And some of you are just working. Some of you, it's not about work. It's about all the work you're putting in, manifesting with the universe, what you want, where you want to go, financial stability, new beginnings. I mean, this might not be about work at all. This could just be someone who's really working with Spirit God Universe to bring in some kind of beautiful new beginning the king of cups just fell out while i was talking about that as well so you could be a cap uh, or, i'm sorry i don't know why i said capricorn but a cancer pisces scorpio or you could be dealing with one um you could be dealing with or you could be a virgo or a gemini once the person in the middle usually for me is the person i'm reading for but that doesn't mean this isn't you as well so uh we have virgo coming through we have gemini coming through and we have strong cancer pisces scorpio coming through all right, let's keep going. What else do we need to know here? Wednesday's reading, tomorrow's reading for the collective, for anyone who's guided. What else do they need to know? Yeah. Five of Wands, but it's not the explosive side. It's the chilled side, which means something's really calming down a bit here. Or like you could just be having petty, ridiculous stuff arguments with someone yeah there's that stress going out the window again this is nice okay so there it goes so listen if you were up against other people if there was competition strife struggling whatever it is it, the stress is going out the window these swords are no longer all around this person those swords are moving towards that window and they're going to go out it and this is no longer an explosive bunch of whatever it is it could just be an argument it could have been bickering it could have been other people it's the five of wands it could be when i see it on this side i feel like it's a bunch of bull and then we've got the world here the world is in reverse we'd rather see it in the upright but that is coming this is get, because you're manifesting it right in the center of your reading we see you working as the you're working here to bring in some kind of change, bring in some kind of new beginning, bring in some kind of new venture. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. And at the bottom, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. The only thing I don't like about this Nine of Cups is this is this guy reminds me of the Emperor. So I feel like he could be controlling some kind of new beginning. That kind of worries me. But when, oh wow. Okay, so... Well, you could have in the past had some kind of news or information that was like a tower in your life. So this is something that came in quickly that kind of startled you. Now it could, you know, could have been news, could have been information, could have been something that happened. It could have been an event that caused you a lot of burdens and they felt like they weren't going away. See that statue? That's how the burdens felt to you. Like that, that statue's not going nowhere and you felt like these burdens weren't. You know, and it's time to really drop them, but you've been hanging on to them, and I feel like you're about to drop them. Um, I feel like someone could have looked into something 
some kind of truth you could now this could be you because like i said especially if you have some kind of virgo or gemini in your chart uh, this is or i'm sorry Jer this is virgo 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 um cancer pisces scorpio coming through very strongly here but there could be some kind of this could have been you or someone around you who looked into something and discovered something see how the hermit is looking down on the snake here there's a snake here and the hermit has shined the light right on the snake we also have the ace of swords this is victory coming in about something that wasn't true some kind of lie some kind of um which creates freedom and victory again with the eagle here um there's something going on where somebody did something to cause you a lot of burdens here you could have been left out in the cold you could have gone through a tower there could have been something that happened here that put a bunch of burdens on your back and something's being discovered here after a long time waiting and putting in the work and doing your time and this is going to be wish fulfillment the only thing is i worry about this particular wish fulfillment card because sometimes it could be arrogance but we're first thing we're going to do is clarify that before we move on just to see okay because it doesn't have to be all right so we're going to use everyday witch to clarify spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who's guided here to see this reading on youtube what are the most important messages they need what are the most important messages we need to know to deliver the messages to them that they need to know it's for tomorrow or anytime they stumble upon it and it resonates please allow me to connect with as many people as possible okay why is the or why is this not and you're at nines and tens everywhere just like you were in tuesday's reading so that's interesting why is the nine of cups here this particular nine of cups why is it here i mean you could be feeling really proud yep absolutely because you did the work and you did the time and you're very proud of what happened here i feel like somebody did you dirty i feel like somebody really did you dirty and i feel like no matter what they did you overcame it no matter what they did you win um graduation day there is your um world that's been on hold it's now like i said it was coming there it is all right so the seven of pentacles here is like you don't have to wait any longer for your new beginning for your completion this is wish fulfillment so you're very um proud of the fact that you put in the work you've done the time you've waited for this new beginning and it's finally here but it's because of your work you put in the work seven of pentacles eight of pentacles ace of wands you've done your time you've been working with spirit and universe uh, you're getting ready to set out on a new journey that you've manifested yourself wheel of fortune magician world this is amazing um hold on one sec you guys okay so sorry about the interruption you guys all right so let's keep going here this is excellent reading all right let's go um what is this new beginning this ten of pentacles ace of wands gorgeous what is this about ten of pentacles oh shoot i forgot to turn it off hold on one sec I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I had a timer on. It was for my child's lunch. All right. So what is this Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands all about here? What is this about? This is something like really nice coming in. I mean, like it's, this feels good, whatever it is. Okay. So <laughs> we have here the Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands both reversed. So something that you couldn't walk away from or that you felt stuck in that felt totally unsuccessful is coming to some kind of completion. Like you felt like this was, this could have been something that really knocked down your confidence. Like I said, I feel like you were definitely done dirty and someone's discovered something here that's allowing for this beautiful cycle change. Uh, completion new beginning whatever it is but this is something that came out of a situation you felt very stuck in you felt very um you felt like there was no success here you felt like there was like you lost your confidence whatever this is but it's coming through for you whatever it is 
Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles real quick, though. Um, let me get a peek at this Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Why is it here for the collective for tomorrow? Magician reversed. Oh, my gosh. So at one time, you felt unsuccessful. You were unable to work with the universe. You were unable to manifest something. You could have been dealing with somebody. Yeah, you were. You were dealing with a snake because the hermit discovered it back here. So... This was someone was manipulating a situation, possibly at work, and we have Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. That's done. They're not able to do it anymore. So someone was purposefully keeping this stuff. Give me um, the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician Reversed. What do we need to know about that? Eight of Pentacles and the Magician Reversed. What do we need to know about it? That doesn't have to be at work, but for some of you, you were just having a hard time creating. Yeah, you were stuck. Uh, chariot reversed. Oh, four pentacles reversed. It's being released. Okay, so whatever was stuck, whatever. Now, I fe feel like someone could have been purposely holding this off or keeping it stuck. Could have been. Yeah, look. Eight of swords reversed. So I feel like someone was trying to keep you trapped in a situation um, could have been some kind of contract or something that wasn't in your highest good here. It was manipulative, though. They were trying to, um, I feel like they were trying to, um, they were just, oh, they were being, to this is so toxic. Um, so whatever this is, you were being, like, held against your will in something because you were being tricked you were being manipulated by like a master manipulator all right let's get a peek at um let's get let me i just want to look back here yes it's been discovered absolutely okay let's keep going i'm gonna keep going here i'm just looking at some of the back history all right um Tell me about the two of wands. This is like you getting ready to go off. Uh, like you're going to get to choose some kind of path here. What is the two of wands doing here? What do we need to know about it for tomorrow? Five of cups reversed. Coming out of all that sadness and sorrow and loss. Um, and what you don't realize is there's two cups behind you and a bottle of wine. And that's a good thing coming out of this this is something that was difficult for you um because whatever this is somebody really did manipulate you here whether this is work or whether this is another area of your life um somebody really manipulated you into being stuck you were totally stuck um tell me about the um this is actually the wheel of fortune but it's got the magician in it this is uh the wheel of fortune with the magician is and the strength card just flipped over as I was talking about it. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune with the Magician here. What is this that's being manifested? Queen of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you were, I do feel like somebody literally took your money uh, or something of value to you. You were left out in the cold here with the uh, Five of Pentacles. Um, with the Five of Pentacles being, like when I look at that Five of Pentacles, I'm going to show it to you again. I shouldn't have stuck it back in here so quickly this person's actually not left out in the cold like on this side this person's actually in but they still feel left out in the cold so whatever was done to you whatever this tower was left a sting whatever happened so abruptly left a sting okay so um you still felt very betrayed very left out in the cold very so there's been this sense of manipulation that's gone on around you um and i feel like it might be that someone was looking into it the whole time. So that's why you were really not left out on the cold, but you didn't know it. So someone already knew that someone was a snake and was being shady. And that truth is coming out, which is your victory, which is your moment to shine and to, to win something and graduate something and start a new cycle, whatever this is. But I feel like you were drained, Queen of Pentacles reverse, and you've had to really take that this is somebody turning that wheel for themselves this is someone manipulating their own wheel and if not you it's someone helping you and this person very well could be a virgo or a could be a gemini but i'm not getting that because i see a lot of virgo here but um 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. That's what I see the strongest here. All right, let's go with this uh, King of Cups, who could also be a queen. Uh, tell me more about the King of Cups here. What do we need to know for tomorrow's energy? What's important about the King of Cups? Nine of Cups. Winner, winner. Another Nine of Cups. This is twice wish fulfillment coming in. Tell me about the Five of Wands. The petty Five of Wands here. Nope. I like the way that came out. Just one or two. Why is the five of wands here? Nine of swords reversed. Four of swords reversed. Someone who's finally going to get back into action after going through a lot of stress. So whatever happened here, whatever this aggression was or this bickering or these people, person, whatever this was, competition, whatever it is. Um, you could have been stalked on, spied on, lied on. Page of Swords reverse here. Um, this judgment reverse. Somebody could have used poor judgment here. Whatever this is, it's coming to an end. And you're going to have your cycle finally close out and have your new beginning that's been on hold. Because someone, like someone held this cycle up. For some of you, you could have held up your own cycle. You could have been your own worst enemy. Tell me about the Nine of uh, Swords here stress is going out the window you got the nine of swords here twice in reverse both times excellent tell me about this nine of swords please hierophant reversed you were under some kind of i'm telling you somebody was holding you into some kind of contract or some kind of shady job situation and you're being released from it Tell me about, uh, this is the end of your stress as well. Tell me about this. Um, and for some of you, it could have been a karmic contract. This could have been more spiritual than physical. Tell me about this, uh, whatever it is, you're busting free from it. This is wish fulfillment. This is long time coming. This is well-deserved. This is a new beginning. Um, I want to know more. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune again, but that fell out when I wasn't even ready. So um, let's look at the world. Why is the world here? Why is the world here, please? Eight of Wands reversed because something would not move forward. Something was unable to close out. Something was stuck. Something wasn't moving. There could have been some kind of betrayal involved here at the bottom of your deck. Ten of Swords. But this cycle's done. You've got Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. This cycle couldn't be more done. you got Nines everywhere um eights everywhere nines oh nine of swords nine of swords nine of cups nine of cups i mean you've got nine of cups here twice nine of swords here twice in reverse this is so good i mean your cycle's done you've got the world everywhere you've got the wheel of fortune came out several times this is a done cycle you've got an ace of wands sitting up there showing that look where you felt unsuccessful before you're finally getting your completion and you're finally getting your new beginning. Let's find out why. One more card on the world reverse with the, yep, look at this. Nine of pentacles now. This is beautiful energy. It really and truly is. I want one more card on the world reverse with the eight of wands reverse. Can we get an idea of why everything was so stuck here? World reverse, eight of wands reverse. Why? Because there was a tower in your life. Tower reversed as well. This is excellent. You're going to be free. You're free of this. Whatever this was. Whether this was a business thing. or a, And for some of you it definitely 100% was a business thing. And for some of you this could have been another area of your life. Whatever this was. There was some kind of contract in play here. And there were people involved that were not in your highest good. This is the five of wands sitting at the bottom of your deck. Um, whatever this was, this, oh my gosh, three of cups behind that. This is, um, these are toxic people. These are gossipers and troublemakers and all kinds of, and the sun reversed is behind that. These people caused you a lot of disappointment, a lot of distress. Um, they caused you depression and you're freaking overcoming all of them and whatever this is you are free from them nine of pentacles on your own independent that's your glass of wine that's yours okay for you after living through a tower with these people who did shady stuff and i don't know if it's you or someone else has discovered what they were doing 
okay it's been a long time coming and you're getting what you wanted what you needed and you are going to feel a bit arrogant about this and rightly so because these people piled so much on your back by doing whatever they did to you left you out in the cold you know and created a tower in your life abrupt change in your life whatever this was that they did to you very toxic anyway these people were not in your highest good whatever this was now keep in mind for some of you this is just you eliminating all kinds of toxic people from your life it's time for this to have happened because allowing these toxic people in your life has held you back held your cycle back and caused you, you to stay in some kind of karmic cycle that you're busting free from now um and it's just like you're going from being stuck to now being uh successful uh, for whatever reason now i can definitely see the cycles changing um for most of you, it's because you're getting some kind of wish fulfillment here that was a long time coming. I want to get one more card. I want to keep these troublemaker cards here that we just talked about. But I want to get one card on the um, King of Cups and Nine of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups, Nine of Cups. Because this is like your wish fulfillment, whether this is a person or whether this is you getting wish fulfillment. This is something going on king of cups nine of cups wish fulfillment yep no longer feeling attacked being backed in a corner and attacked by those toxic people seven of wands look at them all they've got her backed into a corner she's free done it's over death all right now you could be dealing with scorpio you could have it in your chart there's something about um there's something whether this is you or whether this is a person around you, there is wish fulfillment coming in and you're no longer going to feel under attack. So I don't know if this was a Scorpio who made you feel under attack or whether you're a Scorpio or one of you has it in your chart. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. But um, there's something coming to an end. This is what's coming to an end. This feeling backed into a corner. It's done. It's over with. There's wish fulfillment. Whether you're Cap, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whether you're Virgo, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. We all have these things in our chart somewhere. But I want you guys to know that you're busting free of whatever this toxicity is. You were being kept in. There was manipulation going on here for sure. And you're, you're free from it. For those of you that this wasn't physically people, you were keeping yourself trapped in something uh, it was very karmic though you had to, to stay in it to learn something from it it was um, more mental than physical if that makes sense and it could have been both mental and physical but for the majority of you these were people these were toxic people and you're done with them and I do feel like because something about them has been discovered whether it's you that discovered it or a Virgo all right I hope this helps um, let me get you a couple of after tarot spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading and what comes next for anyone who will resonate with it what comes next please oh beautiful divine guidance is going on absolutely somebody whether it's you or that person who could have been the uh, like it, i'm not sure if it's you or them that discovered something because this could have been a virgo that discovered something about these toxic people or you could be, have virgo in your chart or just be coming through in that very virgo-esque energy we've got uh temperance here and we've got um wow that's crazy okay we got stuff that's fallen all over but i want to show you here what popped out a lot flipped out but these two popped and like i could see them okay we have um the eight of cups and the two of wands and it's interesting because while well, these came out and somebody is being divinely guided to do something so whether you were the person who was stuck in this or whether you're the person that discovered what was going on if you somebody was called on by spirit to do something about something um, that's what I feel and they did they went back and looked into something this eight of cups is all about someone returning to the cup to see what's in it so this whoever you or them went back to look at something or revisit something and that caused for them to come in to bring something to you that's yours like I said when we started this there was lack of success someone felt was stuck in something something somebody was unable to get out of something 
um, unable to have a new beginning, unable to close out an old cycle. And then here it is, Ten of Pentacles, completion, and Ace of Wands, new beginning. And look at what just flipped out. The good Nine of Cups just flew out from the top of the deck there. We know there's wish fulfillment coming in here for someone. But it has to do with someone who stepped in and has their back, maybe. Um, or coming in to assist them or discovered something about what was going on and how they were being mistreated. And Nine of Wands at the bottom. This is the third time you've had Nine of Wands. And look at what happens. The Wounded Warrior. Or that might have been in the other reading. These readings are very similar. But this Wounded Warrior is shocked to see this person come in and stand behind, beside them and say, I got your back. You've been through hell and I got you. And here's that same person. Two of Wands coming in to assist this person to, you know, help them choose what path they're going to go down, maybe to go down it with them. So something's going on here where I feel like someone's being assisted and being brought in from being left out in the cold, which was what started all this way back here. Someone had a tower come in their life and were left out in the cold, had burdens piled on them by sneaky, shady people or person who did this to them. It's being discovered and someone's coming in to grab you and drag you out of being left out in the cold. Now, this could all be vice versa. Um, you could be the one helping someone else. It's going to turn the wheel. It's going to finally allow someone to graduate an old cycle that they needed to graduate and begin be able to step into a brand new cycle graduation right there old cycle being able to close new cycle being able to begin completion coming in maybe even something financial and a new beginning this is beautiful energy and an opportunity to feel confident and secure again after being beaten down by possible people that were toxic Whew. Okay, well, so I hope that helps somebody. Let me grab a couple of angel cards here. It does, these two readings feel very connected. So I do feel as though Tuesday and Wednesday readings could be very connected. What else do we need to know here about Tuesday, Wednesday? I mean, I'm sorry, about Wednesday's reading. What do we need to know? Um, angels, what do you want anyone who's going to resonate with this reading to uh, focus on or know about, please? What is that one now that I, courage, okay. I had to have it because I shook it off and then I was like, I think that needed to be here. Courage, diving in, taking the leap of faith. Strength, oh my gosh, talk about courage and strength. So someone has had to really pull on their inner strength to get through this cycle. Inspiration, get inspired. This is really good for some of you. It was a work situation and play. This is, joy's coming in, I'm telling you. And someone, I feel like someone's coming in. I want one more. I'm just going to pull it. Um, I feel like someone's coming in to assist you or give you, oh, healing. And we got a blank one and we got healing. So I do feel like something or someone's coming in to help you heal in a way, but somebody's being very divinely guided. Now, if this isn't an actual person, this is your spirit guides encouraging you to, you know, Look at something differently, let the wheel turn and allow your new cycle to come in because you've been holding up your whole cycle. So keep that in mind. And these could be your spirit guides getting you through this, standing by your side, helping you complete an old cycle, helping you stop feeling this lack mentality and helping you decide what you want to do with your life that's going to allow you to walk into a new cycle. This could be go that way for certain people. But for the majority of you, I feel like this has been something where someone has discovered toxic people were doing something shady, um, whether it's you or someone else. So whatever, or it could have been your spirit guides and you're getting the intuitive information. Anyway, guys, please let me know if you know what this is. Please like, share, subscribe. There is sweet freedom coming to you after a lot of stuck energy here and a lot of possible manipulation. Somebody could have been manipulating you to keep you stuck in something. So guys, let me know if this resonated with you or if you know what this is. It's a little bit cryptic, um, meaning you're going to know what it is, but I don't really fully know. So please like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed it. I do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Much appreciated. Helps the channel grow. And if you guys need a personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description area. Just reach out to me by email. 
and do know that I'm extremely busy right now. So I probably won't get back to you for a couple of days. And even when I do, my schedule is completely booked till probably mid to end of next week. Okay. And I'm doing my best to move quickly. So um, just let me know if you need something, but get on the list because, you know, from what I'm seeing happen right now, it could just keep getting busier and busier. All right. So don't be afraid. Like, oh, she's too busy right now. No, don't think like that because then you might not get a reading for three months. Okay. So get on the list. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.